hello my viewers and welcome to another video where we unveil a controversial revelation now this video takes us into the tangled web surrounding benjamin netanyahu the prime minister of israel and his son yay netanyahu now as discussions sway around yay's dodging of the military draft and subsequent escape to miami a surprising revelation emerges leaked dna test results suggesting european ancestry contradicting the narrative of middle eastern roots now the spotlight shifts to the netanyahu Yao family's origins tracing back to Poland, Russia, and Germany rather than the expected Middle Eastern ancestry. Now, this raises compelling questions about identity, authenticity, and the lengths to which individuals and entities may go to shape narratives. So join me as we explore implications for notions of identity, cultural appropriation, and the broader geopolitical landscape. How does this revelation reshape our understanding of the Netanyahu family's heritage and what does it signify for for the broader discourse surrounding Zionism and Middle Eastern identity. Let's get into the videos. I will be right back. This is Benjamin Netanyahu, the Prime Minister of Israel. This is his son, Yair Netanyahu. Yair was supposed to be drafted into the so-called war and was supposed to join Zionist forces in the fighting. However, Yair decided to dodge the draft, where 350,000 reserve soldiers were called upon to go back to the Zionist entity and serve, Yair fled to Miami to hide out. This is Yair Netanyahu's DNA test that has been leaked. You can see right there his Y DNA is RM198. Descendants of RM198 come from Poland, Russia, Germany and other European countries. Does this look Semitic to you? Does this look Middle Eastern? Nope, it looks like a colonizer. Benjamin Netanyahu is actually Polish. His real name being Benzion Malakowski. He changed his name to Netanyahu to sound more Middle Eastern or more foreign, I don't know. Both of his parents were in fact born in Poland and all of his family ancestry and obviously his DNA comes from Poland. Netanyahu added this bit into his wikipedia page which i find really funny it says while his family is predominantly ashkenazi he has said that a dna test revealed that he has some sephardic ancestry if you didn't know sephardic were the spanish jews that were originally from the middle east but how is benjamin michael Woski claiming that he has sephardic ancestry when his son's dna is literally polish zionist tries so hard to be Middle Eastern, it's embarrassing to say the least. Not only do they change their last names, but they also lie about their DNA. She goes on to say that Yair Netanyahu, Benjamin Netanyahu's son, uh, is uh, had took a DNA test because he was running away from the Israeli army and he went to uh, Miami. They found a DNA test uh, from Yair Netanyahu that basically says he's nothing but european right not a not a bit of middle eastern in there right which you know begs the question why netanyahu changed his name from what melikowski or melowowski i don't know what the fuck it was whatever right to netanyahu to sound uh more uh, middle eastern or whatever right and it just makes me think about the five dollar indian and it makes me think about how white folks claimed native heritage for the express purpose of acquiring land from native people on Turtle fucking Island. I need you guys to get it that it's not a different game plan. It's the same game plan. It's the same shit. Now, the revelation surrounding Benjamin Netanyahu's son, Ye Netanyahu, and his alleged dodging of military service, coupled with the leaked DNA test results, suggesting European ancestry sparks a profound conversation about identity, authenticity, and the complex narratives surrounding Zionism. Now, Ye Netanyahu, Benjamin Netanyahu's son, did a DNA test on family tree DNA and the rest speaks for itself. The fact that Yair Netanyahu had to undergo the DNA test outside of Israel adds another layer of intrigue to this already contentious issue. Now it raises questions about transparency and accountability within the Israeli government as well as the lengths to which individuals may go to conceal or manipulate their true identities. Now we already know why he did a DNA test 
outside Israel because in Israel, they don't allow people to uh, do DNA tests. Moreover, the revelation that Netanyahu family's ancestry traces back to Poland, Russia, and Germany challenges the narrative of Middle Eastern roots often associated with Zionism. Now, it prompts reflection on the ways in which historical narratives are constructed and reshaped to serve political agendas. Now, to this revelation lies the long-standing fact among some communities, particularly within the African diaspora, that black people are true descendants of the Israelites. Now, this is a fact, even if some say it is a belief, this fact is rooted in historical and cultural connections, which adds another dimension to the discourse surrounding identity and belonging. The juxtaposition of these narratives underscores the complexity of identity, politics, and the importance of critically examining historical narratives. It calls into question the authenticity of claims to heritage and the ways in which these claims are wielded for political gain. This revelation invites us to reconsider our understanding of identity, heritage, and belonging in the context of Zionism and beyond. It challenges people to confront the complexities of history and to engage in dialogue that respects and honors the diverse narratives that shape our world. Now, there is a misconception among many Westerners that the Palestinians are Arab immigrants who came from the Arabian Peninsula with the spread of Islam. Palestinians are the indigenous people. Now, modern Jews may traditionally trace their ancestry to the Holy Land, but a new genetic study finds otherwise. Modern Jews may traditionally trace their ancestry to the Holy Land, but a new genetic study finds otherwise, where a detailed look at thousands of genomes finds that Ashkenazim, who make up roughly 80% of the world's Jews, including 90% of those in America and half of those in Israel, ultimately came not from the Middle East but from Western Europe, perhaps Italy. Now, coming to the fact that black people are the true Israelites, which is a fact, but often is dismissed as a myth or conspiracy theory, there are compelling historical, cultural, and genetic factors that lend credence to this notion. One of the most prominent pieces of evidence supporting this is that is the historical context of the transatlantic slave trade. Now, during this dark period in history, Millions of Africans were forcibly taken from their homelands and transported to the Americas as slaves. Now, many of these Africans came from regions in West Africa that have long-standing cultural and linguistic ties to ancient Israelites. Genetic studies have shown that a significant portion of black Americans have genetic markers that are consistent with populations from the Middle East, particularly among those with ancestry from West Africa. Now, these findings suggest a genetic link between African populations and the ancient Israelites. Culturally, there are also striking parallels between certain customs, traditions, and religious practices of African communities and those of the ancient Israelites. From music and dance to dietary restrictions and spiritual beliefs, these similarities provide additional support for the notion that black people are indeed the descendants of the Israelites. Now, biblical scholars and historians have long debated the true identity and whereabouts of the lost tribes of Israel, with some theories proposing that they migrated to Africa and eventually became integrated into African societies while the belief that black people are the true Israelites may be contentious and subject to debate, it is undeniable that there is a wealth of evidence and historical context that lends weight to this belief. Ultimately, whether or not one subs subscribes to this belief, it serves as a powerful reminder of the interconnectedness of human history and the diverse narratives that shape our understanding of the world today. More reason why Zionists should refrain from claiming Semitic heritage in relation to Israel, particularly when their ancestry traces back to Europe. Now, while individuals of European descent may identify with the Jewish faith and support the Zionist cause, their genetic and ancestral ties may not necessarily align with the Semitic populations indigenous to the region. We have finally come to the end of the video. What do you have to say? Share your thoughts as well in the comment section. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video.